In this section, we're going to be talking about the S3 Delete Bucket API. Uh, and as you can imagine, this API call does exactly what you would expect. It just deletes the bucket. Um, but the one constraint on this API is that it's listed right here in the documentation. All objects in the bucket must be deleted before the bucket itself can be deleted. Uh, so if you attempt to delete a bucket that has files within it or subfolders or any content at all, uh, you're going to get a failure when you're tempted to call this API. So make sure that you do that prior to trying to use the delete bucket API. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the documentation here for the Node.js SDK. And so what do we have here? Um, so we have a params object which contains a key bucket and a value and this is the bucket ID or the bucket name. And then we're just calling using the S3 um, client to the delete bucket method. We pass in the parameters, which we just kind of created up here, as well as a callback function such that it'll be populated with the error if there's an error and the data if it's successful. Uh, and then we can just say if it's an error, then we console log that. And, and if not, then we just uh, log the data. Uh, so again, make sure that you delete the content in the bucket before you try and delete it. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.